friends, I am Mia and I am Sunny. Welcome to our channel. This is our very first video and in this video we will share a cool way of playing table tennis at home. And that too without spending a lot of money. But first, here is what we are talking about. Did you like what you just saw? Come let's see how you can have this at your home. This table is really nothing more than two pieces of plywood with wooden laminates. And the net is a special net we bought from a local sports store. It is also available online with popular sites like Amazon and such. If you are not able to find one, don't worry. We will also show you how to fit the official net assembly with our setup. We are reusing our dining table because it has the right height and size to hold both planks. This way, we not only save on space required for the table tennis table, but also make it practical to use in flats and confined city spaces. Our dining table is 5 foot by 3 foot, which is perfect for holding two planks together and here is how we put it together. We bought a 16 mm thick plywood measuring, measuring 8 foot by 4 foot. Based on our experience, you need minimum 13 mm thick moisture proof plywood which will make the tabletop light to carry and strong enough to not sag from either sides. In India, this is the maximum size available at most plywood shops. However, the official table used for table tennis measures 9 foot by 5 foot, which means we are 1 foot short in both length and breadth. This makes little difference to gameplay though and is sufficient to prepare yourself for action on the real table tennis table. Coming back to the making of our table, we cut the plywood into two pieces at the stove itself and got it delivered. Here's how the gameplay looked with just the bare plywood. As you can see, the bare plywood isn't as cool as the final table. So we called a friendly family carpenter who helped with fixing laminates on all sides. We chose matte surface laminates and two different colors, darkish blue and moss green. These are commonly used colors for club and any hobby table tops. Once that was complete, we used a painter's tape and oil paint to draw the lines. For table tennis, the side lines are 2 cm thick and the center line is 3 mm thick. The center line is only used for double stay. So we left one side of the table black in the center and used it only for single stay. To test our table, we performed a simple bounce test. 
A TT ball should bounce exactly 80% when dropped on the surface of the table. Compared to that rule, we are within a 5% error margin. Again, pretty acceptable in our book. As promised, now we will see how a standard table tennis assembly can be used instead of a flexi net we will show we showed earlier. The standard table net assembly had a much longer net than required for our table. As you remember, we are about a foot shorter than official table. Worry not, we took the net to the nearby tailor who re removed the swimming thread from one side and cut about 11 inches length from the net. Remember, not an entire foot but only 90% or 11 inches because the net never equals the entire breadth that it spans. Instead, it stretches during use by about 10%. That's it! We now have a wonderful table which has two playable surfaces that we alternate based on our mood. But what really matters is how this table has given us an opportunity to master this wonderful sport in the comfort of our homes. Let's play! If you liked our video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below. If you'd like to be notified about our new videos on our channel, hit the bell icon right beside the subscribe button. That is all folks. Thank you very much for your time. Bye!